स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल्स व्हाट इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल रेफर टू द बेंच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग दैट फोकसेस ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बिहेवियर ऑफ मेटीरियल्स वेन सबजेक्टेड टू डिफारेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लोड एंड फोर्सेस नो डिफॉर्मेशन और नेग्लिजिबल डिफॉर्मेशन अंडर एक्सटर्नल फोर्स स्टाडी ऑफ दैट पार्ट ऑफ सॉलिड मेकानिक्स इज कॉल्ड इंजीनियरिंग मेकानिक्स डिफॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स चेंज इन सेप एंड वॉल्यूम अंडर एक्सटर्नल फोर्स स्टाडी ऑफ दैट पार्ट ऑफ सॉलिड मेकानिक्स इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल्स स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मेकानिक्स ऑफ materials it is a subject which deals with the behavior of solid object applied to stresses and strain okay now what is strength of a material strength of a material it is the ability of a material to withstand an applied load without failure or plastic deformation plastic deformation means when load is removed the material not come back to original position the deformed material not come back to original position strength of a material is the ability of a material to resist mechanical forces when in use strength of a material is its resistance to failure by permanent deformation for example a big a piece of ceramic or a rock they all are extremely hard material strength of a material can be determined by different tests such as tensile stress or compressive stress or hardness test or torsion test or bending test etc actually failure occurs when stress greater than material strength okay now why we study the subject strength of material number 1 to check the load applied on body component number 2 to select the material which can withstand a particular amount of load that means load carrying capacity strength of material we study to measure the amount of load applied on the body 
material selection for a particular work such as number of persons use a lift maybe 5 persons maybe 10 percent maybe 20 percent that means load carrying capacity the purpose of studying strength of materials is to make sure that design of a structure is safe against the combined effect of applied forces and movement okay now what is rigid body a solid body in which deformation is zero or negligible under application of external forces is called rigid body. A rigid body is one in which all particles remain at fixed distance from each other irrespective of the forces that act on the body it does not deform under the action of forces a rigid body is a body that does not deform or change in shape. In a rigid body, the distance between any set of two points in it is always constant. Okay. A ball bearing made of hardened steel is an example of a rigid body. A ball bearing losses almost no mechanical properties and retains its maximum amount of shape. Okay. Now, what is deformable body? Any body that changes its shape and or volume under any kind of external force is called deformable body. A deformable material or body affect the mechanical properties, performance and durability of materials. A deformation can occur because of external load, gravity or electromagnetic forces or change in temperature, moisture content or chemical reaction etc. The earth is a deformable body and its shape is continuously changes. Deformable body mainly three type of deformation are beetle, ductile and elastic. Deformable body material can be plastic, wax or cotton. Okay. Now, what is equilibrium of forces? When all the forces that act upon an object that 
एक्ट ऑन ए बॉडी आर बैलेंस देन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज सेट टू बी इन ए स्टेट ऑफ इक्विबियम दिस इज ए बीम बीम इज एप्लाइड भार्टिकल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स भार्टिकल अपवर्ड फोर्स भार्टिकल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स भार्टिकल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स भार्टिकल अपवर्ड फोर्स मोमेंट दिस एप्लाइड मोमेंट एप्लाइड मोमेंट एप्लाइड मोमेंट when the forces are considered to be balanced if the right what force are balanced by the left what force upward force is balanced by the downward force this is called equilibrium of forces actually the equation of equilibrium condition of equation of equilibrium sum of the horizontal force zero sum of the vertical force zero and also sum of the moment is zero okay 